It's Torrey from the Hip Hop Shop on Fuse. You're watching Goodfellas TV with my man Sean Money. What's going on, everybody? It's Sean Money representing GoodfellasTV.com. I'm here with my man Torrey. How you doing? Now, Torrey, how did the how you felt with the interview win? Like, like you felt like prodigy. I was very happy with it because P is really open and honest and candid. And any question I ask him, he just open to talk about it. I mean, obviously, everything I was coming at him with is in his book, so it's not like anything was a surprise to him. But still, you know, we talked about violence, we talked about sex, we talked about jail, we talked about relationship between him and Havoc, low points in a relationship. And, you know what I mean, he's just a very honest, open, thoughtful dude. And, you know, it's really good to talk to him. How excited do you feel that he's now that he's out of jail and that Mob Deep's about to come out with a brand new album? How, do, how am I excited am I? I mean, I'm excited because I've been a Mob Deep fan for a long time. A lot of albums before The Quiet Storm. Obviously, The Quiet Storm, one of the high points of their career. You know, anytime you hear a Mob Deep album is coming out, you know, you got to be excited, man. Those guys add a lot to the game. You had a lot of like classic interviews, like on on like Rolling Stones with like Fuse. Tell me, what was your favorite interview? I mean, I can't say one favorite. I mean, I remember being with Big in the hallway outside his mother's apartment. I remember being with Pac when he was on trial in Manhattan. You know, Snoop took me to his house like two years ago. Being out in the Hamptons with Jay Z when Dame was dating Aaliyah. You know, rolling around with DMX when he was on top of the world, going to Lauren's house when she was on top of the world, being with Lauren at Rock the Bells last summer. You know, it's impossible to pick one because I've been blessed to talk to a lot of people, talking to Dave Chappelle after he came back from South Africa, like, yo, what happened, son? Um, I'm sure there's more that I would think of. I mean, it's impossible to pick one, you know what I mean? I was writing Karis One's autobiography for a couple of years, so we traveled the world from London to Amsterdam to Germany to Jersey. You know, that was an incredible experience. Um, a lot of stuff, man. I mean, obviously, talk to Rakim for the hip hop shop, but any chance you get to talk to the God. You know, I talk to Nas a lot, you know, but I mean, Rakim, you know what I mean? One of my favorite artists. I personally think that Eric B for president it was like the greatest hip hop record of oh, all yeah, time. No doubt. I think Rock Kim is the greatest hip hop MC of all time, no doubt. All right, one last question. Like the first time I even heard of Tyler the Creator and like Odd Future was a tweet from you. Like Really? It was like the first time I and then I watched him and like like it was like a, it was like when, when Diddy came out with him and Little B, like what are your thoughts on like Tyler Tyler the Creator, like his album and like how how big of an impact he's gonna make Odd Future is my favorite group right now. I haven't been this excited about a new group in a long time. And Tyler is bringing one thing, Earl Sweatshirt's bringing something else. Domo's bringing something else, Frank Ocean's bringing a whole other thing. So it's many different entities in one but Tyler in particular is a beautifully screwed up dude. And he's a great MC and he's very passionate. And he's just a brilliant young cat. And I can't wait to see what he what he comes up with next. And I really don't care if he goes platinum or not, if he gets the Grammys he wants or not. Those people who really love and appreciate hip hop and MCing love this dude and his music and that's all I care about, that he continues making the hot music that he believes in. Whether or not, you know, the masses understand it, accept it, get into it, it doesn't matter. You know, we need more of this dude, you know, because he's, he's amazing. It's all about Odd Future right now. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. Check out more things with GoodfellasTV.com. It's your man, Sean Money in the house.